In this video, we will talk about taxonomic aids. Now, what exactly we mean by taxonomic aids? Taxonomic aid is anything which is going to help us in the study of plants and animals or various species. We already know what we mean by taxonomy. So, when we talk of taxonomy, we mean that we want to know the name of that plant, we want to identify it, we want to see the position and classification of it, hierarchy. So, anything which is going to help us in that study is known as taxonomic aid. That means we can have a botanical garden as taxonomic aid, a zoological park as an aid, we can also have a museum or herbarium or there are certain types of questionnaires which are called the keys where there are certain type of questions which are mentioned and they help us to reach to that particular pinpoint organism so that we can study it properly. We will take various aids one by one and we will try to understand how they help us. The first one that we are talking about is botanical gardens. Now, when we are talking about botanical garden, what exactly we mean by this garden? It is a place where we grow, we grow various varieties of plants. A place where varieties of plants are grown. And why are we growing these plants? There has to be some kind of advantage. This is for the scientific study so that we are able to study these plants in a proper scientific manner and that is why we go or visit these botanical gardens so that we understand how the plant grows, what is exactly the structure, how it looks and all those things. So it is going to help us in scientific study. It is also going to help educate people. So it also helps people to understand because when we uh, see various kinds of things, we just see the end product. Suppose we are talking about cardamoms. Now we don't know exactly where the structure which we are consuming grows. How is it attached to the plant? So it also educates people and it also uh, helps in uh, fulfilling their curiosities. So it is for scientific study, it is for educating the people. So these gardens help and this is the basic purpose what we were talking about when we use the word taxonomic aid. So now when we are talking of these gar uh, botanical gardens, we need to talk about the most important ones. The most important one which is in India is the Indian Botanical Garden. This Indian Botanical Garden, the name is old name. So we have to remember that earlier this garden, Botanical Garden was called the Indian Botanical Garden. The new name, the new name which has been given to this is Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose Botanical Garden Botanical Garden So this is the new name which is given So earlier it was called the Indian Botanical Garden Before that it was also known as, that means we are talking about the very old name. Very old name. It was also called the Royal Botanical Garden. And when it was called the Royal Botanical Garden, it was said that it is situated in Calcutta. But now we call that place or that city as Kolkata. So this is the new name and when we talk about the location we say it is located in Havra in Kolkata. 
So this is the new thing which we have to remember very very early when this was uh, this area was uh, demarcated that time Royal Botanical Garden Calcutta was the name given to it then after that it was named as the Indian Botanical Garden and nowadays it is called Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose Botanical Garden and it is situated in Howrah that is in Kolkata. This garden is famous for various things, but various plants, but there are three very, very important which we'll be talking about here. The first one is the great banyan tree. The great banyan tree. Scientific name of banyan is Ficus bengalensis. And the reason why this great banyan tree is so famous because it is 250 years old and there are 2800 prop roots or aerial roots which are seen. Banyan tree is very famous for those prop roots and we know these prop roots are adventitious roots. They arise from the tall branches and they go down up to the ground. They also undergo secondary growth and they become as thick as the stem. So these, there are 2800 branches and one more figure which I'm going to tell you now will give you an idea that these 2800 branches, they are spread out in an area of 14 1500 square meters that means it is just one tree which gives an appearance of a complete forest this is just one tree the main trunk of this tree got infected and the main trunk has been removed so the plant is surviving only on those prop roots and when people go there visit that place so it is mentioned there that the main trunk was here it has been removed and when you walk around you don't get to separate those prop roots because the canopy is completely together and it looks like one big forest and that is why this great banyan tree is so famous and because of that the botanical garden is also very very famous the second important plant which we find here is pandanus. Pandanus is one plant which we study when we talk about multiple root caps. So it is famous because it has multiple root caps in its stilt roots. This we study in morphology that every plant or every root has root cap but here the still root roots which arise from the lower roots on the side which just provide extra mechanical strength to the plant those roots they have multiple root caps and the third important plant which we find here in this botanical garden is the plant with the biggest leaves and the name is Victoria Amazonica and this plant is actually the giant water lily plant. It is water lily plant. The leaves are so big that when we, if we say we are sitting like in a group of four, five, six people, all those six people can sit on that leaf that big. So the diameter is two to three meters is the diameter of a single leaf and the leaves look beautiful because they're very very white and the edges are turned upwards and from the lower side it is copper with copperish in color and the upper part is green so beautiful looking leaves and the largest leaves so these three important plants are also found in this botanical garden this one special so when we were talking about these plants which are found in this botanical garden basically we were trying to study these plants and this is what is the significance of any taxonomic aid and 
botanical gardens play a very important role. So this is one botanical garden that we have talked of. Let us talk about one more. It is the National Botanical Garden. It is also known as the National Botanical Research Institute. It is located in Lucknow. This is also one very famous and as we are talking about these botanical gardens, we need to also discuss the one which is a very important and the most important in uh, the international at the international level. And that is the Royal Botanical <coughs> Garden which is in Q, that is in London or in UK. So this is again a very very important one. It is in England we can say. So these are the three very very important botanical gardens and when we visit these gardens all these plants they have their scientific names, their age, the natural habitat, everything mentioned. So it helps the students to study and people who are not associated with the biological study, they also get fascinated when they get to know such kind of information. So this is one taxonomic aid that we have discussed here. In the next part, we take a few more taxonomic aids.